One of the things that's really powerful within effects is the ability to localize where you have your presets and filters. So you can selectively apply those to the specific parts of the photograph where you want them. When we look at this photograph, the first thing that stands out is the boardwalk, but I think it's a little lackluster in color. So I want to add a little more color and tone into that. I'm going to go into my presets and I'm going to choose landscape. Now all my landscape presets show up and I can scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to choose Vecchio. If I single click, the preset gets added. But you'll also notice it gets added to the entire photograph. When really I just want this applied to the boardwalk. We'll go over to the right pane for the controls and I'll click on this white box which represents my masking options. So you can see now I can reset, invert, or even copy my mask and apply it to another layer if I wanted to. I'm going to choose invert and you can see that takes away the effect and now we can just brush in where we want that specific effect. I've made sure over here that I have my masking brush and I have all my masking brush controls up here. And if you click on the gearbox, I'm going to choose to have the perfect brush on. The first time you're using the perfect brush, you'll get a pop up to give you a little more information on the perfect brush. What's great about using the perfect brush when you're painting in a preset or a filter is that you don't have to be really specific and get the lines perfectly because that brush is doing all the work for you and it's going to help you color within the lines. A quick tip is that if you want to use the bracket keys, you can increase your brush size. So I can simply just start painting in here and you'll notice that effect gets painted onto the boardwalk. If at any point you want to see the mask that you're making, you can go ahead and click this button over here. And if you single click, it'll show you the mask that's getting created. If this were a traditional mask, things would be flipped and you'd be painting in a red highlight. To turn that back off, I go ahead and single click that one more time. We'll continue just painting this in here to the boardwalk. I'll reduce my brush size a little bit. And we have that right there. We also have all of the options available to us for this specific filter. So I can change things like strength, saturation, and you can just use the sliders to see what you prefer. Note that each preset and filter category is going to have its own set of individual controls. So they're all going to look a little bit different. The next area I'd like to focus on in this photo is the water. I typically like to add a blur or a glow to the water because I think it helps bring out that ethereal effect to the water. So let's change categories and let's go from landscape and we'll switch over to our filters and go to a glow. So now I have thumbnails for all of the filters within the glow category and I'll scroll down to deep forest here. I'm going to right click choose insert preset and that's going to then put that on top of the stack as its own layer. So if we come back over to the right here, we can turn on and off that layer with the check mark here. Again, you'll notice that the effect is getting applied to the entire photograph and we just want this to the water. So we'll do the same thing as before where we click on that masking box to bring up our options, choose invert, and now we'll use that same brush, increase the size here and just paint that right into the water. So you'll see it's giving almost a polarizing effect and also smoothing out that water. We'll do that over here on the right hand side as well. If you'd like to see the before and after for a specific preset or filter, go ahead and click on that checkbox and again you can see the before and the after. Let's add one more filter here to our stack and I can do that by clicking on the add filter button here. I'll choose color enhancer and all my color enhancer options are here on the left side. I'm going to choose the green enhancer. So I'll single click that and again that filter will get added to the top of the stack and you'll see our greens have really popped in the photo. And in fact they're probably a little too much for my taste. So by using the opacity slider here on this specific layer I can change this one individual layer here. So I can go down from nothing and then adjust that to whatever my preference is. We also have the master opacity slider here and this controls all the effects that we have, all three of them together. If I want to get that before and after preview, I can come down to the preview button here. If I single click, it shows my original photo. If I click again, it shows me all the effects that I have within my stack. If you prefer more of a split screen view, you can click on the A button here and that will show you a before on the left hand side and then your after is going to be on the right. 
If you'd like to turn that back off, just simply single click on that A one more time. Once you get your settings to a place that you like, go ahead and click Save to Apply.